Hey, it's Adrian. Today I'm taking a look at these Buds 2 Pro from Samsung. And these are the highest end in their model lineup. And these are my first earbuds from Samsung at all. So I'm gonna be reviewing these as a first time user, letting you know my thoughts on sound and overall performance. So let's get started. In the package, you have the Buds 2 Pro, the charging case, which can be charged wired or wirelessly, USB type C cable, and then you also have large and small ear tips. Taking a look at the design of the Buds, so you can see it's not a bad looking design. They actually look a little bit bigger um, just when you're looking at them, but in the air, they're pretty comfortable. So you have a windshield up here, some microphones, you have the metal charging contacts right there, and you can see that they do say left and right. And then lastly, if I can catch focus, so that's the speaker grill. Looking at the finish of the earbud, so you can see it's this nice type of matte finish. There is no glossy parts on here at all. So if I try to, you know, just put my finger there to see if there's any fingerprints or smudges, it stays really clean, so I appreciate that. Specs wise, these are coming in at 5.5 grams each. Now in terms of the battery capacity, so the charging case is 500 milliamp hours and it can be charged wired or wirelessly. Each earbud has 58 milliamp hours. The speaker setup is a two-way setup. So there's a 10 millimeter woofer and a 5.3 millimeter tweeter. Active noise cancellation is supported of course and there's three high signal to noise ratio microphones to help with that. It's IPX7 rating, so it's good for one meter or approximately three feet of water. These earbuds have Bluetooth 5.3 with Bluetooth LE audio support coming later on in the year. Samsung's rated battery life with the default settings are five hours with ANC and eight hours without ANC. This has AAC, SBC, and there's also a Samsung seamless codec, which is supposed to deliver 24-bit hi-fi sound, but there's not really a way to check that natively on the phone, and it's only compatible with certain streaming sites. One feature that's noticeably absent is that there's no multi-point support. So if you want to pair this with your laptop or a tablet or any other type of device, then you're out of luck. Samsung instead has something where you can pair the buds with another Samsung device, but again, not everyone just is running all Samsung devices. So I have the earbuds paired with my Fold 4, but I just want to show the process on the S22 because it's pretty simple. So you just open the case up, scroll until you see it. So I'm just going to wait for it to pop up here. There we go, Adrian's Buds 2 Pro. And you just hit pair, and you're good to go. I like to go over the options available in the Galaxy Wearable app. So right now you can see that the sound mode is set to off and the options for active noise canceling and ambient sound are grayed out. And that's because these aren't in my ear. So I'm gonna put them in right now and then those should be active. So you can see right now it's set to active noise cancellation and it just switched to ambient sound. And the reason for that is because of this feature called voice detect. So what this does is anytime you're listening to music, as soon as you start talking, it's gonna automatically switch it to ambient just so that you can hear your outside surroundings that carry on a conversation. And then five seconds after you stop speaking, it's gonna automatically jump back to active noise cancelling. So it's a pretty cool feature and I did test it out where I had someone standing like really close to me and they talk and, or spoke and I was hoping that, you know, I was trying to see if it would trigger the ambient sound, but it did not. It only activated when I spoke. So even if someone's standing next to you, if they talk, it's not gonna just cut out your music. So I'm gonna wait five seconds and it should switch back to active noise canceling. So it did that and now that I'm speaking again, it's gonna switch back to ambient sound. So this feature works pretty good. So I'm gonna test the smart switch feature or auto switch. So what it's supposed to do is anytime audio comes in on one of your Samsung devices, it's gonna automatically connect the buds to that device. So you can see right now on the S22 Ultra that the buds are currently paired and on the Fold they are not paired. So I'm gonna go into this video, hit play, and it should switch over. And you can see it now says it's connected and the audio is playing from the video. So basically like within one to two seconds it automatically switch over. That feature works extremely well. Unfortunately, it's still not a substitute for having, you know, true multi-point where you can use it on any type of device. Touch controls, you have some pretty basic options. So you can have it on or off completely. 
I may actually just leave this off just because I usually control the volume from my phone anyway. But you can see you have standard options. One thing that I don't like is that I don't see a way to remap this because I would have liked to just have, you know, tap for volume up or volume down. But if I go under touch and hold, that's where I can have volume up and volume down. And, you know, I like to be able to adjust volume really quickly on the fly. So I'll probably be using my cell phone for that. But here's the, all the options available to you. When you go into the earbud setting, there's a bunch more options available. So you have the equalizer. Um, I like having it on dynamic. That's been working well for me so far, but you can play around a bit more, but I don't see any options to create a custom equalizer if you like that. Now you also have the option to read notifications out loud, even while you're using the phone. I have that off for now, just because I'll be able to see. Then you also have some other options for, you know, Bixby, um, having ambient sound during calls, and I do like to have this on. There's also an option called in-ear detection for a call. So anytime the earbuds are in your ear, it's automatically gonna play the call through the earbud. So that's probably what you'd like anyway, but you can also turn that off. Now, this is an option which, you know, you may find helpful, but most likely not. So it'll quickly switch to nearby devices without disconnecting the earbuds. And this works for any device that's signed into your Samsung account. That's really important because this doesn't support multi-point. So you can't have, you know, your laptop or desktop uh, connected to these earbuds at the same time because they're not gonna be signed into a Samsung account. So keep that in mind. There's also an option here for neck stretch reminders. So you basically just calibrate your head. And if you're leaning for too long, um, it's gonna notify you. I have it on, but I, I'm gonna probably turn it off after this review because I doubt I want it bugging me about that. There's also an option here under labs for double tap earbud edge and for a gaming mode. And this double tap uh, earbud edge, it actually works pretty well. So if you just double tap near um, the part of your ear that covers the earbud or even on your actual ear, it's pretty responsive in terms of controls. Gaming mode, I do leave that on and I did play some Call of Duty Mobile and this phone did excellent. Um, with the earbuds connected, I didn't notice any type of sound latency at all. You also have options to find your earbuds and the way this works is, you know, it's gonna show you on a map where your earbuds are. If you ran out of battery, it's gonna show you the last known location that the earbuds pinged. If you wanna have some quick access settings, you can see that when I'm in the Bluetooth menu directly, I could just go into the settings icon and I have some quick access controls here like turning off touch controls or disabling, you know, the headphones for audio or calls. And if I wanna get into the full options, then I would just go into the wearable app, which is a separate download. There's also an option to add a widget to the home screen so that you can easily toggle touch controls or change sound modes. Now, if you just click to the top there, it takes you right back into the wearable app. When it comes to audio performance, so I was pretty impressed. Normally when I listen to music, I like headphones that you know, have a little bit of thump in bass heavy parts and these definitely deliver even without putting it to the maximum volume and leaving the equalizer on normal or dynamic. You could definitely tell that bass was there, but it also has a bass boost mode. Overall, the sound was, you know, really full. It didn't sound too flat and I was able to comfortably listen to, you know, I would say between 60 and 70% volume and that was already quite loud for me at 100% max volume you know I didn't experience any type of audio distortion I did play some Call of Duty mobile and it was a really great experience much more than I thought it would be so normally when I play I just rely on the phone speakers and put using the earbuds it was like a night and day difference um, I could hear way more sounds it was a way more immersive experience and I did have the game mode on which I showed earlier and I didn't notice any type of audio delays or any type of latency issues all right so I'm outside I'm wearing the Buds 2 Pro so right now there's a little bit of light wind and the occasional car in the background but this is what you can expect in terms of audio quality with active noise cancellation turn on so i don't normally wear earbuds a lot and one of the reasons for that is you know when you have them in your ear um, a lot of sounds are kind of like amplified so if you scratch your head like you can hear that in your brain kind of thing so this does have that but it doesn't seem as pronounced as i thought it would be especially since the fit is so secure when it comes to battery life these are a little bit disappointing because these are rated for five hours of battery life with ANC turned on and I got a little under five hours and that's most likely because I do like to listen to volume a little bit louder than you know having it on a medium volume setting so these are definitely not a full day option unless you're willing to go with 
without ANC and in that case you'll get close to eight hours. So can I recommend the Buds 2 Pro and this time around it's a harder recommendation from me because these are pretty pricey at 230 US. If you're someone like me who likes to use your earbuds for not just music but for calls and you know to have it paired with your laptop or desktop or even your car say um, you know, th these are not gonna be it for you because there's no multi-point support on here. If you're just buying these solely for, you know, music, content consumption, then these are gonna be fine because sound-wise, they don't disappoint. The sound is, you know, clear. There's a good amount of bass. You have a lot of settings that you can adjust with the equalizer. Um, there's a lot of other features that make these pretty unique, such as, you know, auto-detecting your voice and then switching it to the ambient mode and then switching it back and a lot of other features in there. So. If you're gonna be using these just for sound, yeah, it's good. If you're more into a lot of productivity and you like having it, you know, instantly switch from device to device and you're not running all Samsung devices, then I think you can look elsewhere and probably find a cheaper option. Well, I hope this video was helpful and please do let me know if I missed anything or if you have any questions, just leave it down in the comments down below. I really do my best to get back to everyone. And if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one, bye.